Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. As I'm growing older, I'm realizing the power of mantras, and we've spoken on mantras on multiple episodes, so we don't have to kind of address the basics. This is kind of a more advanced mantric question. I don't know if that's the correct grammar, but uh, why are there certain stronger words in tantric mantras like sham sham sham, phat, reem, mm-hmm. words that make you feel something? Mm. So these are vija mantras. Uh, I think we last time we talked about just touched upon it vija mantras. So these mantras, how did they originate? So that's a difficult question. But let's assume that these were heard by rishis. or the great great masters who were the originators of the path and each of them have a specific potency and power in them for example now uh, after a certain level of sadhana is done the rule is that you cannot cha- you cannot utter the vija mantra loud after a certain level of sadhana is done okay every other word in the mantra you can ch- utter loud vija you will not utter loud at a certain level so for example this vija that you specifically asked sometime earlier because you can't say it ha i don't want to say it can i say it yeah reem yeah so this there are two things in this uh, this is a very powerful interesting vija this is known in tantras as the maya vija also because this destroys your maya and gives you a vision which is beyond maya if it gets fully activated okay it has this potency tremendous potency and there are certain sadhanas where only this vija is doing people do japa of this not, not nothing before nothing after this is in tantras this is this vija is considered to be equivalent to the omkara of the vedic path but it's also dangerous to no none of the vijas are dangerous there's nothing called dangerous <laughs> i i ask you that because i have a friend who's experimental with mantras hmm. he uh, said that he began doing some kalbhair of mantra uh, by listening to it with a earphone went into meditation and 15 minutes his head started hurting a lot no oh, that could be uh, so these are anecdotal i can't comment on this without knowing the individual okay. but no this is not at all harmful okay the vij in fact uh, the one of the potencies of this vij is this vij is used in multiple mantras this is also one of the vij mantras connected to the mahavidya known as bhubaneshwari okay devi bhubaneshwari when blessings of this vija comes to an individual because he goes beyond maya slightly i'm not saying fully fully to it takes a lot of time a little bit so there are a lot of positive developments also that will come to him okay bhubaneshwari is a deity who gives you who can give you again there's always a caveat because there are many factors who is doing it whether he or she has the concentration whether he can take their energy or not correctly lot of material growth okay at the same time it will give you a clarity in vision certain amount of clarity in vision of uh, if you are very attached to something it can that is what is maya fundamentally is attachment is maya nothing else to okay. a person to a thing Anything. to a goal wohi to main bola when your attachment to the phone is also maya to some degree we all have our create our own mayas so depending on how much attached you are to whatever it is that is your maya okay so and the degree of attachment you have you are also open to that degree of pain eventually because everything will go at the end one day okay that's the one thing that everybody agrees on whether you are spiritual or whether you are atheist if you are going to die i am going to die okay the moment you are dead it's finished but uh, that particular vija is actually a very positive vija it is considered to be just like omkara in the tantric field and it brings about lot of um, it reduces the uh, uh, what you call it you know it can reduce the clarifies your vision if it so maya clouds your vision attachment the problem with attachment is that it clouds your vision you cannot see properly a person who is detached will be able to make a clearer judgment okay so it clarifies your vision it also brings you blessings that vija acha this one is used in a multiple amount of mantras it's very common vija Okay, very common. Where is the other vija that you mentioned? I said phat. Ah, huh. that is to end something. That is particularly given in a mantra when you need a specific force to uh, end. Means not necessarily end in a negative sense. Sometimes you have to end something that is negative. Again, attachment. 
no not necessarily somewhere you see uh, it actually depends on the mantra but more or less there was a kal bhairav mantra which had bhatta in it which i had heard it could be many mantras have that many different deities mantras have that so these so uh, for example you are you see somebody that trying to cause some harm okay I mean, directly you are seeing that somebody is trying to cause some harm so you may use a mantra with this particular vija that will work in a certain way to stop that person from causing harm so this is some this this vija is something to stop okay but theek hai aur isme the pronunciation has to be ph not f but ha not fan hmm. because the fa pronunciation is not there in sanskrit tha understood like this there are innumerable vijas in fact one who is an expert in mantra shastra can create a vija also there is you can create a vija of a person's name now don't ask me to create a vija of your name but i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> you can create a vija of a person's name you can if you are that good in mantra shastra if you know something's name technically you can access that thing's energy mantra shastra that we have in our dharma is perhaps the most advanced and i have had interactions by the way uh, with people of uh, uh, in western or little bit interactions at one point when i was not my path was still not very deep here still exploring i used to have a lot of friends i remember there was one occultist i knew from west it's pretty good uh, i uh, and one of his very peculiar uh, interesting habits was that he used to go and search for haunted places spend the night there okay and he had weirdest experiences he used to tell me um and he he was good friends with me i never met him uh oh, never met him only online communication and i knew few of them who had serious abilities also by the way so they could sit there and tell me what dress i'm wearing and what were they doing yesterday and what am i doing now and all that though they have never met me and nothing they didn't even know my name by the way because i used to you know interact with them through a pseudonym or something like that uh so this guy i remember i had given him the once he was facing some issues with some it was his past time mm. uh and i found it very interesting a lot of people like that i knew at that time i had given him a bhairava mantra what go bhairava mantra and then he comes back after a month and says that this is this is bloody magic whenever i am in trouble with these entities and he used to do a lot of japa okay he learned the pronunciation uh how to do it was difficult for him to get the pronunciation right because he is not indian but after that he used to do crazy amount of japa of that mantra and he says that whenever he used to go into some kind of where there is a negative energy the moment he starts with all this they don't disturb him they don't come near so vatuka is a child but vatuka has all the powers of kalpera only he is a child okay um for the everyday listener who may not sit and do a 108 time chant of the mantra um i just want to mention that you gave me something called the bhairav chalisa, chalisa. also which is very similar to the hanuman chalisa and you said that just play it at the end of your meditation yeah. or meditate upon it i felt like even that brought a lot of yeah, change yeah. that is very 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 beautiful even though it doesn't have tantric words no. in it see that's what na uh, uh in a way bhairav baba is kind compared to other devatas if certain parameters are set in an individual if you take one step towards him he will take two steps towards you what are the parameters ah uh, so that is a judgment uh before giving a higher mantra that's the judgment i make after interacting with an individual or something like that uh, i can't explain to you here because there are few other things but more or less the basic mantra which is om bhairavaya namaha is a nama mantra a uh, lot of people i know do it and especially after i mean i have before also i have met people do it but after the uh, last time podcast and a lot of people who came to me and mailed me and all that so this is a very good mantra to do yes there is a certain nature of the devata that is there bhairava is strict so as i mentioned uh, more or less if certain fundamentals are there means he will bhairav's vidya his tatva is that he makes you fearless by not running away from things that you have run away you face it oh there's this caption that used to come na kya pata nahi dar ke aage jeet hai waise like she's <laughs> like that baba yeah. will put you right in that situation face it face it face it after that you will be immune to the fear okay that is his tatva so if a person can take that amount 
then Bhairav Upasana is very good. For one, this. And number two is that the most ultimate blessing that Bhairava gives an individual, it is not on day one, by the way. It comes later. At a very advanced stage, he can teach you tantras, which nobody else in the world can teach. There are There is a certain amount of tantric vidyas which we know. Tantra Shastra, he is the guru of tantras. It is the tantras all come from him. Okay. He is the he is the, he is the boss. He is the boss man. Okay. He know nobody knows tantra vidya like he does. He teaches and as a spiritual aspect. I am not talking about the avichar and negative things on tantra. No, saying the, how to do devada upasana. Bhairava blesses you. There are certain forms of devi upasana. Without Bhairava's blessing, you will never succeed. There are hundreds of people today who do devi upasana. All of the Mata is so popular and plus Navratris are there, this, that, etc. there. But the amount of people who succeed in Devi Upasana is still lesser. Because the original rule Niyama was that you worship Bhairava. As you worship Bhairava after a few years, he is the one who will tell you how to actually go close to her. And there is a very tight and very beautiful relation between Bhairava and Shakti. Very beautiful relation. So the, one of the roots of succeeding in Devi Upasana is first to please Bhairav Baba. He holds the keys. He will tell you ki where is the route going, where you will reach. Okay. Otherwise, you can do normal bhakti. That's all fine. People do that all the time. Go to the temple, little bit of uh, some, uh, you know, uh, Devi Mantra, ye wo karlo, etc. I am talking about succeeding it, going to the ultimate stage. That is where you Bhairava becomes very important. And as I mentioned also, uh, so uh, on Ashtami Dithi specifically, uh, me and a there's a group of people whom I guide. Uh, so we do specific, on every Ashtami, we do specific amount of Japa of Bhairava. And that together we complete close to 2 lakh Japas of Bhairava Mantra on that one day with one Sankalpa to for the uplift of Dharma. Okay. Generic Sankalpa for the uplift of Dharma. And along with it, we do, uh, we feed people and Annadanam and there are specific pujas we get in Bhairav temples done etc. So we've been doing that for quite some time now. So Ashtami Tithi specifically. Uh, the people who are connected and do this, they are people who have at least completed uh, that simple mantra Om Bhairavaya Nama, that Japa at least 1 lakh. 1 lakh means 1000 malas which takes few months. But if that is done then it's like your your he he's tied himself to the energy of Baba. And the beauty of this mantra is that this is a generic mantra of Bhairava. If a person keeps doing this, some of the other form of Bhairava will bless you. How? But first of all, he is not going to come directly in front of you by causing certain changes in your life, which eventually is going to go into a positive direction. See, there are two options. When you start a mantra sadhana, just positive things may happen. And sometimes it may start with a negative. But always remember this, if it starts with a negative, it is because down the line somewhere it is going to have caused a larger problem. Larger amount of pain and suffering were in store at some other point. In order to, they cannot just wish it away completely, but they say that, okay, let's reduce it. Give it to him in a one third or one tenth of that. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa used to say that if your destiny is supposed that you are just a man's destiny is that he is supposed to, he is walking and some... He hits his leg and says his leg is to be cut off or something like that. If he does sadhana, uh, mantra sadhana and all that, it's possible that nature may decide, okay, I will not do anything, just a pinprick in the leg. So it's balancing the karmas. Of course, he must have done that amount of sadhana. So that is how I, if somebody is able to take Bhairavupasana a little bit, it's beautiful. And it can begin by simply sitting in one place and just chanting out the mantra. Or even the chalisa. Bhairav Listening chalisa. Listening to the chalisa. Yes. Listening to the chalisa. Yes. It's as simple as that. As simple as that. If you want to increase it a little bit more, anybody who wants to do, listen to the chalisa, learn the chalisa, light one diya, put one agarbatti, okay, and put some food. We call it bhog and anything. In fact, things made of gur are very potent. Potent. He loves it. Kuch nahi ho to gur ka batasha you can find. Keep it and give it. Okay. There's certain. There's a long list of food items he likes. He likes, uh, just, for example, vada. Vada is one of the things. Vada is considered to be a vegetarian alternative of meat. Vada. 
vada means we uh, south in we have uh, idli vada oh okay okay like dal ka yeah da- urad dal ka urad dal ka patties urad dal is considered as a as a substitute for meat gotcha okay gud coconut water these things so are even if not this whatever is being cooked at home that too can be offered with bhakti he responds he responds very fast so trs clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our home page reading through all the playlists